Hey guys, Kalen Angloss here with KFit Conditioning, and today I want to show you how you can use the landmine to build total power, explosive power using the kinetic chain. So the kinetic chain is something that we use in all our athlete development to help build power from the ground, the forces coming up the ground through our legs, into our upper body, and up to our limbs. So it's really using the whole uh, kinetic chain from the floor to the end of your limbs to generate power and to build explosiveness. It's seen in a lot of different sports and training it in very unique ways is required in the gym. And the landmine is one way that we can do that. So again, the big goal here for kinetic chain training and explosive power training total body is to use the whole body together and really try and feel that working as one big unit to generate as much force, as much power, as quickly as possible. That's the goal. But there is a couple ways that we want to train to kind of develop it. So I'm going to show you a few different progressions that you can start from really basic to a little bit more advanced and even more sports specific. So the first one I want to show you is just a landmine press from the knees trying to generate power from the hips. So you're going to start on your knees right in front of the landmine. The landmine is hooked up with the barbell in the corner. You're going to lift the barbell up and you're going to hold it right at your chest level, kind of right at your sternum. From here on your knees, you're going to do a little mini hip hinge. So your hips are going to go back and you're going to hinge forward with your spine into this position. From here, I'm going to do the movement slowly. You're going to pull the hips forward at the same time, try and generate power through the kinetic chain up to the body, press the bar up to the ceiling. Back down, hip hinge. Again, this is slow. Hips forward, arms up. Now fast. Hips forward as arms up. Hips and arms. Hips and arms. Again, trying to feel the whole body work together. The next progression starts from your feet. It's the same thing we just did, but this time you're going to hip hinge back into a squat position. You can really gauge how far you want to go on this one, depending on how familiar you are with the movement. So start in a kind of shallow hip hinge, shallow squat, and as you get more advanced, go deeper. But the premise is the same. From here, you're going to drive from the legs, pull the hips, feel the energy transfer up through the body, up to the arms, and up to the ceiling. Again, this is slow. Legs, hips, arms, together. And then eventually getting explosive. Everything working together, together. So the third progression on this landmine press is doing it in a split squat position or like a lunge position. This becomes a little bit more sport specific because now we're using more one side of the body to generate the power through the kinetic chain. So I'm gonna have my one foot back, same side as the bar is on. You can see the bar is kind of just resting right now until I find my proper dip position. To find the proper dip position, my back heel should be up. I should really feel this leg taking the motion, taking the weight and generating the power right now. So again, my foot is nice and close. I have this split stance and my back leg is taking the weight. From here, once we're familiar with that, once we're comfortable, we can drive this up a little harder, a little harder. And you notice when I drive hard, I get a little pop up from here. I'm still driving from my leg. Again, this is going to be slow, but the finish is going to look like this leg up the body to the arm, to the end of the kinetic chain, at the end of our hand back down. And we go again. In this case, the back leg is driving. My left side is moving explosively generating the kinetic chain energy. All right, so those are three different variations of the landmine press that you can use to help develop total body explosive power using the kinetic chain. Try them out. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, let me know. KaylinAngloss at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys.